I'm Yiping Zhu and I'm a Paralympian. She is Singapore's most decorated Paralympian, representing the country in three Paralympic Games. Yip Pin Siu set world records in both her events at Rio de Janeiro in 2016. Today, those records remain unbroken. Most recently, she won two gold medals at the Tokyo Paralympic Games. To be able to represent Singapore is an absolute honour. I think it's, it's a privilege and it's something that I hold close to my heart. And even though I've been doing it for so many years, it doesn't get less meaningful for me. The lowest moment for me was probably back in 2019, when there was this period of time where my performance started uh, rapidly dropping. It was tough because at that point in time, I had still tied my self-worth to my performance. After this incident, I realised that I need to have better mental health, be a bit more self-accepting and show myself a bit more self-love. And uh, from then onwards, I've been working on being a better version of myself psychologically and physically. In October this year, Pinsu was awarded the inaugural President's Award for Inspiring Achievement. Pinsu has demonstrated these exceptional qualities. She has stared adversity in its face, time and time again overcame it. She is truly an inspiration to Singaporeans and it is only appropriate that she will now become the inaugural recipient of this award. All the recognition so far uh, has been amazing, really, really amazing. And I've been on this 17-year-long um, journey to try to get more recognition for para-athletes. The, the moment where I realised that this was something I really wanted to focus on was probably in 2008 back after the Beijing Paralympics. There was more noise, more people coming forth and they're surprised that um, people with disabilities actually have many abilities as well. And I think that was the starting point for me to really want to make a change both in the sports arena as well as the PWD inclusion space. My hope for Singapore is that we emerge from this pandemic stronger. We can easily say that nobody gets left behind, but really I hope that this is a statement that is close to everybody's heart and we have consideration for every single minority, every single group, and that at the end of the day, all Singaporeans emerge stronger.